Okay, we are inside the house trailer. Give you guys just a little tour. This is the main entrance here. You walk in, and you got your two, uh, I guess, recliners. You got a little uh, couch that turns into a bed. You got a little dinette that's all on the slide. And then, you got your kitchen. And this is where the batteries and the inverter is going because this is right above the axle. So it's not going to make me uh, have any more extra, t more or less tongue weight. Uh, just hopefully I don't spring a leak anywhere because it is by all the pipes. But uh, this is where I have the most space. I got uh, quite a few batteries in here ready. I think I can fit twice about, about twice this many. And then. I'll probably, if I want more, I'll have to put them somewhere else and run a line. But I, another reason why I wanted the inverter here and the batteries is my main electrical panel is right here. I can just run all the wires behind. Everything will be nice and neat. You won't be able to see anything. And I got this little switch here. Just a little transfer switch, an automatic or manual transfer switch. Oops, upside down. So, you can have it on automatic, and you can set what side you want your power always coming in on, and if that doesn't go, that doesn't have power, it automatically switches to the other, or you can just use it in manual mode, and you can hear it click over, and uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to use for my transfer switch anyways, and what's this rated to, let's see here. It is rated to da, 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 da. It didn't say on here what it's rated to. It was it was something pretty high though. It it'll handle this inverter anyways. I can't remember what it is, but it was enough for this inverter, I remember. Anyway, see you guys in the next clip. Alright, now that I've made a big mess. Here's the kitchen. And here's where I decided to put all my solar or batteries and inverter for now. The BMS wires are just all over for now. I'm going to zip tie them, tidy that up a bit. That's only half the batteries that I'm going to put in here. That's 90 amp hours, 66 uh, volts full charge. The nominal is about 60 volts. Put the 8,000 watt in here where I'm going to access the inverter and do all the wiring is from this side. So here's all the batteries here. I still have some room. I can put two batteries, probably two uh, four S's here, and I'll probably double stack them. I'll just move this, this heat pipe up. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm going to figure out how I can put another amount of batteries like this in here. Then we got the inverter, which now works. Well, it always it always turned on and and put out power, but now it actually you can actually run quite a bit with it. So that's pretty cool. I might actually get go get the suicide cord and try and run the trailer AC off of it. Uh, I have some exciting news. I am going to be getting a easy start for this air conditioner, and uh, I'll get, do a little review on it and show you guys what that's like. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. All right, time for a little field test. And I am going to try running this inverter off of one 35 amp BMS. This could pop the BMS, which would be too bad, but uh, I wanna see what, what uh, a single BMS can do, if it can start a 15,000 BTU or not. One single BMS, I can't remember, I think it's like 2500 watts so we're going to turn this on this is the first time this trailer has ever been back fed uh at least when i've owned it and here we go there we go so oh so the voltage jumped up a little bit 129 because it has some sort of switching uh power supply that that's running the trailer 
microwave turned on okay and I also have I have my other camera here monitoring okay so 120 volts 127 volts I mean switch to watts we're pulling what is that 150 ish something like that I got the other camera recording yep we're gonna start with uh, so this is charging the battery this is running these lights and we're gonna turn uh, fan on fan is on low okay so we're gonna go take a look at the usage all right we got what is it 450 who think that actually takes a lot for just the fan that is insane wow this air, air conditioner is not very efficient now is it okay what are we at here so 63 volts from the batteries 124 volts output oh boy here we go see if this uh, can run the air conditioner I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to do this but here we go Seems to be running though. What are we pulling here? What are we pulling? 1300 watts. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And the output on the inverter is 117 volts. That's pretty good. And the voltage of the battery is 63.2. We have not really sagged. That is awesome. Oh, this is running at no problem. I'm so happy. Okay, so close that a bit. And this is just backfit. This is not even properly hooked up yet. That's those BMW batteries I took apart from batteryhookup.com. That's just 16S, one string of batteries. It seems to be working real nice. It's awesome. Open these vents up so I can get more cooling. It's definitely cooling quite nice. Wow. Let's turn the radio on, see if we get any uh, type of uh, weird frequency through the radio. Nope. Nothing. It's working great. I'm going to let this run for a little bit. And I'm going to see how hot the BMS gets. And uh, yeah, go from there. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's coming out of there. It's coming out of these vents in the roof. Give you one more look inside here. Okay, so this is the PMS here. It's not even, it hasn't even started warming up yet. That is awesome, wow. So it can surge, obviously it can serve above uh, 35 amps, which is great. That's what I was hoping. And uh, yeah, the inverter is doing great now. After that repair, it's working wonderfully. I hope if anybody else has bought one of these, I bought, I didn't have to pay full price for when I bought this, but I did not get this for free either. I think I got 50% off or something, so I still had to pay quite a bit for this. So, uh, hopefully anybody that has bought one of these is going to have really good luck. Um, I will say that I was running strictly, well, almost strictly air conditioners, like tons of air conditioners. Like sometimes my parents would come in their house trailer, which has the same 15,000 BTU air conditioner as this, and it would run their air conditioner, it would run my 12,000 BTU at the same time, as well as a 5,000 BTU. So three air conditioners, and it lasted about a year and a half. So I'm pretty sure if you're running less inductive loads than that, your inverter's gonna last quite a bit longer. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get an easy start for this though, so that I don't have to worry about the surge killing the inverter and go from there and add some more batteries and solar. All right, now that I've made a big mess, here's the kitchen and here's where I decided to put all my solar or batteries and inverter for now. The BMS wires are just all over for now. I'm going to zip tie them, tidy that up a bit. That's only half the batteries that I'm going to put in here. That's 90 amp hours, 66 uh, volts full charge. The nominal is about 60 volts. Put the 8,000 watt in here. 
where I'm going to access the inverter and do all the wiring is from this side. So here's all the batteries here. I still have some room. I can put two batteries, probably two uh, four S's here, and I'll probably double stack them. I'll just move this this heat pipe up. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm going to figure. All right, time for a little field test, and I am going to try running this inverter off of one 35 amp BMS. This could pop the BMS, which would be too bad, but. Uh, I want to see what what uh, a single BMS can do if it can start a fifteen thousand BTU or not. One single BMS, I can't remember. I think it's like twenty five hundred watts. So we're gonna turn this on. This is the first time this trailer has ever been backfed, uh, at least when I've owned it. And here we go. There we go. So, ooh. So the voltage jumped up a little bit, 129, because it has some sort of switching uh, power supply that, that's running the trailer. Microwave turned on. Okay, and I also have, I have my other camera here monitoring. Okay, so 120 volts, 127 volts, I mean. Switch to watts, we're pulling, what is that, 150-ish? Something like that. I got the other camera recording. Yep. We're gonna start with, uh, so this is charging the battery, this is running these lights, and we're gonna turn the uh, fan on. The fan is on low. Okay. So we're gonna go take a look at the usage. All right, we got, what is it, 450? Ooh, that actually takes a lot for just the fan. That is insane. Wow, this air, air conditioner is not very efficient now, is it? Okay, what are we at here? So 63 volts from the batteries, 124 volts output. Oh boy, here we go. See if this uh, can run the air conditioner. I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to do this, but here we go. Seems to be running though. What are we pulling here? What are we pulling? 1300 watts, okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And the output on the inverter is 117 volts. That's pretty good. And the voltage of the battery is 63.2. We have not really sagged. That is awesome. Oh, this is running at no problem. I'm so happy. Okay, so close that a bit. And this is just backfit. This is not even properly hooked up yet. That's those BMW batteries I took apart from batteryhookup.com. That's just 16S, one string of batteries. It seems to be working real nice. It's awesome. Open these vents up so I can get more cooling. It's definitely cooling quite nice. Wow. Let's turn the radio on, see if we get any uh, type of uh, weird frequency through the radio. Nope. Nothing. It's working great. I'm going to let this run for a little bit. And I'm going to see how hot the BMS gets. And uh, yeah, go from there. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's coming out of there. It's coming out of these vents in the roof. Give you one more look inside here. Okay, so this is the BMS here. It's not even, it hasn't even started warming up yet. That is awesome, wow. So it can surge, obviously it can serve above uh, 35 amps, which is great. That's what I was hoping. And how's it going guys? It's going off grid. And join me on the floor here, I'm just sitting here. We are setting up the 8,000 watt reliable to this, oh, what is this? This is something like, I think it's around eight kilowatt hours or seven kilowatt hours, I can't remember. But there's one bank, a 16S here. Uh, and I'm going, going to hook up this reliable electric to this uh, automatic transfer switch. And I'm gonna wire that all into the trailer. Uh, 
and my main power wires is this this orange one here. I have to unhook this. Then that orange wire is going to get run to there, and then from there it's got to be run back into the breakers. That uh, so it's got a, a neutral that goes right into here. It's got a live that goes into this top breaker. It's 30 amp. That's the main breaker of this trailer. It's 30 amps. So we're going to do that. And then on the other side, so we actually got to run two wires from this to this side. So then we got to run from the inverter side uh, back to here as well. So th there's actually going to be two wires going into this. Uh, actually, no. We're, we're going to do one wire. And we're gonna we're gonna bridge the connection over here. We're just gonna have one wire. That'll save a lot of running of wires. So uh, I don't think it matters which side is in, which side is out. All it does is that there's a contactor here and a contactor here. But I'm gonna look at the instructions and see which side it goes in, which side it goes out. But what happens is is the mains power. So this is normal mode. This is reserve mode, reserve power. Your mains power goes in here, and see the arrows pointed to normal mode, and then it passes through and runs the trailer. And then if power goes out, if you set this to auto, there's a little electric motor in here that spins this to the side. You can see that it was blinking when I, I turned this because it was make, the electric motor was making power. Then all of a sudden, so say this side and this side I'm gonna bridge together, and I have my inverter coming in here, if the inverter is already on, like if I leave the inverter on all the time and say that there's uh, warnings of brownout conditions or whatever, or the power goes out, this senses whatever side has power and it just transfers to that side. So if we're on reserve power and the power comes back on, it will automatically click over to the normal side. And this thing is awesome. It, well, I don't know how awesome it is. I gotta try it out. But this thing is very reasonably priced for what it can do. This was, uh, I believe, $70, or right around the $100 mark, uh, from uh, Signier Power Limited. And yeah, I thought this would be a perfect uh, switch for my house trailer. I think I'm gonna try and mount it down here, kind of like, like this. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run all my wires down in here. I still have quite a bit more. Sorry about, about the bang, this just fell off this. Uh, I got, I'm got. i gonna double these batteries for sure in this cabinet. And then I, I would like to triple, because I have enough for three banks of, of 16S. And I don't know where to put that yet, but we'll figure it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll update you as I go. All right, so we got the electric panel uh, unscrewed from the frame of the trailer or the the wood frame and we got a, it looks like a main ground going probably to the ground of the trailer all of our other grounds are here and let's see here so uh, where is that hold on is that that I think is the that's the DC side the low voltage DC side so all this is low voltage DC side I guess that's how they get away with mounting it to wood uh, here's our mains right here that's what we're tapping into I'm just gonna have to I could easily okay so I can get wire through that hole no problem come into here I'm gonna mar it the main wires off I'm gonna find out if there's a better connection I can make I might solder it later and then moret over the solder. Actually, I think I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to solder it and moret over the solder. And then that's going to be my main power lines now. And that's going to run back over to here to my switch. Right here, there's my switch. And then from my switch, it's running back into here. And it's going to go to, this is my main live right here. That's So I'm going to go into there and my neutral is going to go here. And that is what's going to run the trailer. Uh, these are currently these are live. This is running the air conditioning right now. I'm just trying to cool the trailer down. 
today was quite warm so it got nice and warm in here and uh, yeah it looks like that's the propane line that runs out from the furnace Got all these nice holes for mice to run in once mice can figure out how to get in here okay so I'll show you in here we're gonna run those power lines that's the hole I just showed you so that'll come in here no problem and then I can run my lines from the inverter as well it, it just this is actually a perfect place for the batteries I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get one more bank of batteries in here right here uh, I'm gonna double stack I can single stack, I'll put a big battery there, I'll single stack it, and then I'll double or triple stack it here. All right, I'm back. Got some wiring done. I got two longer wires, just so I can differentiate between the two, and two shorter wires. So, the two longer wires are my mains power. Right here, and right here. My two shorter wires are the return wires so mains go in shorter wires come back out return goes into a breaker and goes to neutral bar so i'm going to hook this up and mount it and uh, then we'll work on the inverter side right now we're working on the grid side or the main line side and the inverter will mostly be for reserve power or when we're boondocking um and uh yeah, I'll update you guys uh, in a second. All right, now that we've got a bit of a mess, I decided to move that up. I decided that I didn't want to have to bend over so far. Up here would be much nicer. So I'm going to have it right around in this corner. The wife uh, very graciously gave me this counter space because this is pretty much the only spot I could make this work so easily. Um... She still gets all of her drawers and stuff and everything else she gets, which is a lot of cabinet space. And then there, and then there. But anyways, we're gonna try this. So there's no grid power coming into the trailer, but it's set for, I'm gonna put a G here for grid power. It's just what I uh, know it by better. This is normal. This is a reserve or a, what's this piece of paper say? Replacement. This is replacement power. This is normal power. I'm going, oh, there it is. It's, this is, they can do 63 amps. So this is perfectly well rated for this inverter. I'm going to leave it on the normal setting. It's on manual, so it should, it should turn itself over when I turn the inverter on. Let's find out. And here's the power coming in from the inverter. Uh, where's the switch here? Uh, oh, here it is. Look at that! It worked! That's amazing! Wow! So the... The uh, power converter just turned on. Charging the trailer. Microwave just turned on. That is awesome. That worked. That worked so well. Holy smokes. That actually went really fast too. That is insane. Okay. Now I'm going to go plug the power in outside. I'm going to leave the camera rolling inside. If I can figure out a way to keep it uh, focused on, on this. Let's see here. What am I focusing on? No, not even close. Let's see here. I think it's focused on there. Now I gotta be careful the way I walk because the phone will fall if I'm not careful. And we're gonna plug the normal power. Finish plugging in the normal power. Are we running off the inverter or are we running off of mains power? Let's see here. All right, it switched over. 
What a cool little toy. That thing is awesome. Okay, so that's saying that there's power on both sides now. Oh, that is really cool. I like this thing a lot. I should have installed this a long time ago in my old trailer. Okay. So that's an auto mode. That is so cool. So if I unplug the trailer, that just flips right back. But only if the inverter's on. Or if the power goes out and I turn the inverter on, it just flips back automatically. This is a really nice little switch. For the price, for 100 bucks or less, that is insanely good price. I'm going to shut the inverter off. Let's see what the voltage and stuff is. 22 out, 63.6 in. And now, as you can see, this is the inverter side. I'm going to write, or, or I'm going to get something that says inverter there, grid power here. You can see that there's only grid power now. Well, by just looking around, you wouldn't think that I uh, did anything to this trailer other than the morettes sitting there and the toolbox and the drill. We got everything looking as it should, sitting there. And we got the pure sine wave inverter sitting there, all nice. And I decided not to put it down here and then put it up here. I decided to tuck it away. I still haven't cable managed anything. I haven't uh, zip tied any wires. So it's showing that it's in normal mode. Uh, uh, reserve mode or whatever the, the R stands for it's not uh, on because the inverter is off and it's running the AC everything's running really well nothing's getting warm and uh, yeah everything's just working flawlessly I'm super happy with it I'm super happy with how clean it's turned out like you can't see anything it's all under there 